Hey YouTube, I just wanted to do a quick review for the UM610 graphics tablet because I didn't see one when I was looking around trying to do the comparisons for which one I was going to buy. I never owned one before. I would have always worked traditionally and I definitely didn't want to spend um you know buck 50 up to 4 or 500 dollars on a graphics tablet if I wasn't sure that I can draw without looking at the paper or even the screen and a Cintiq, they're like fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars, and that's not going to be my first jump into the graphics art world. <laughs> so, hence the Huon six ten. And uh, as far as what it is, I mean, I got it for forty eight bucks on Amazon, and for forty eight bucks, you're not going to beat, or I couldn't find anything to beat what this tablet had it had the the good size is six by ten i think if i remember correctly um had the eight buttons uh zoom in zoom out all the traditional raise pen change all that um good sensitivity the sensitivity was the same as the insus 4 i don't remember what the numbers was like 2400 or whatever i don't know what the Initials would be, so I'm not even going to go there, but it was 2400, whatever that is, the sensitivity pressure level. The pen's a good size. It's like any mechanical pencil I've ever used, or any pretty much any art pen. has a left and right mouse. That I, I had to get used to using it up on the grip so I don't keep hitting the damn pen, but other than that, it's not a problem. On and off button does use a AAA battery. No erase function. Um... It has four, four tips. Pen tip. You have four extra tips for the pen, and it has a grip, so you'd be able to pull like all in here somewhere. You don't have to undo that, so you could take the tips of them out and replace them. Um, let's see some of the stuff I was able to do. I mean, for my first. So you, you can see the sensitivity, you can see um, how the line thickness and the widths of the lines were able to go, were able to transition smoothly from thin to thick, which I was, for $48 graphics tablet, and me being an amateur as far as graphics artist, I was kind of happy that I was able to even get some of these results and um, as you can see I, could, I was able to really get in here and create some really thin lines um, with yeah just a very cheap tablet and um, yeah so everybody who says you need a Wacom or only I won't say only I'm not a professional but only, everybody says you only need that you know look around do your shopping and uh, be smart Thanks for watching.